Hello, my name is Alejandro Sandoval, and this is the Solar Negocios Beauty Blog with the summary of the Solar Negocios Bulletin for August 9, 2018. Today, the Mexican peso was appreciated given a set of elements from abroad, specifically the trade war that has been increasing and escalating between the US and China. The US, let's remember, made a new round of tariffs uh, against China and China retaliated with another set of uh, tariffs. Now, it is expected to continue and although there has not been so many news about it constantly, when there are news, regularly there are about a new round of tariffs or at least a threat and that uh, type of uh, information affects not only the Mexican peso but a wide array of indicators grow globally. Also the Bloomberg dollar spot index was increased due to this escalation of the trade war. They all went down given the trade war specifically and also side by side the situation against uh, US sanctions against Iran, the probability for them not to meet the quota the OPEC uh, <coughs> renewed agreement that could not meet also the quota that will be missed by Iran. And this type of uh, information precisely makes the oil went down in uh, the price. In the United States, uh, producer inflation was reported and it's reinforcing expectation of gradual increases of the rate. This is basically a report that shows almost no movement month after month on the uh, producer in indicator of inflation but on the annual indicator it shows a little increase so this little increase given that it's little that it's achieving a small amount of infl infl inflation every month uh, might be interpreted in terms that the Federal Reserve will not be accelerating normalization besides this year that will probably increase rate on September and also December but potentially meet the neutral rate by 2019 and not have so many or even any uh, rate increase if that's possible in that moment. In Mexico, it was reported inflation in general terms for July and it was greater than expected. Uh, mainly, it seems that it was non underlying inflation, the one that affected more. This is uh, oil uh, or gasoline and food products, but uh, we can understand gasoline because Globally, it's increasing its worth, but in specifically, we have to analyze deeply what's happening with the importation of prices on goods and services that sell in Mexico, which basically implies the underlying inflation. If that one seems to be affected, then there are red lights uh, for Banco de Mexico to increase its rate in the following uh, month, in the next meeting. But if it's not showing that, then it could hold it. So we are uh, we have to analyze deeply that part to to consider if, if that will happen. Anyways, if the exchange rate becomes more unstable in the following days, then there will be more data for Bank of Mexico to make a decision to increase its rate along the US Federal Reserve rate. Uh, on the support side, 1840, uh, the resistance 1876 pesos per dollar in the wholesale market spread 109 without changes with respect to yesterday and in the future markets a little bit worse which buys some volatility in the market mainly again understanding understanding the set of the, the volatility set because of the trade war that's basically the information we have today we have uh, more information of the northern border for uh, uh, program that will be applied for the next presidential term in mexico in this video blog in the specific um, playlist that you can find here in YouTube or also in Blogger with <coughs> editorials about the, the specific topics for this program. Thank you very much for your attention. We'll catch you tomorrow.